Hi everyone, welcome to this presentation. We are going to be considering how to edit Clash Bicap. So if I should omit this project and zoom closely to these two pie caps, you can actually see that uh, it is being clashed together. Alright, so we wouldn't know the total numbers of pies that are in this pie cap. So let us straight away navigate to the plan view of this project. So I'll click on this story zero. So this will take us to the plan view. Okay, so here in the plan view, this is the pie cap. These two pie cap, they are being clashed. And so if we check the pies that are in this pie cap, you notice that the rule that states that the spacing between two pies in the pie cap should be three times the diameter of the pie. Now this pie, we place a cursor on it, and then in the info box, you can see that the size is 300 millimeters. Simply means the diameter of these pies on this pie cap are 300 millimeters okay so the space between the pies on this pie cap is supposed to be three times 300 which is 900 so as this has been clashed together it has bridged that row for instance by 702 729 and pi 731 okay has bridged the row so successfully the same thing applicable to these two pies and this one so this video will actually explain how you can get rid of this okay because once you are having this kind of situations the second thought that will comes in your mind is to design a combined pie cap okay and designing a combined pie cap in this kind of structure will be very tedious okay so you having something of this kind you have to devise another method of getting things done correctly and then you proceed in your design successfully so what when you encounter this kind of problem you don't normally solve it here in proto structure you solve it when you are through with your design successfully and then you move your design drawings to autocad okay so during editing you have to also reference Proto structure so as to determine the load or the maximum axial load each of these pies are carrying, then you use it to edit this successfully. So I'll be showing you how to do that in a minute. So stay tuned, let us make progress. At first, we'll get the AutoCAD to see the drawings of this uh, pie general arrangement successfully. So I will explain to you how to get rid right of this successfully. Here in AutoCAD, I have the beams, okay, right there, and as well as the columns, okay, and then the pie itself, as well as the pie cap, uh, detailed drawings of this project and the general arrangement of the pie layout. So, come over here, here is the pie we are talking about. So, this has been edited to be, you know, given a level as P2, 1, okay which the level is different from this but i want to explain how i arrived at this successfully in this video so let's come over to these provisions so originally this is how it's supposed to be the border lines that form the pie cap you have to correct it successfully okay so you can now see this consists of a two pie cap no being combined now to be a single pie cap so you are not having these pies okay be bridged the rule of you know uh spaces between pies has to be three times the diameter of the pie successfully so for you to now get right of that what you need to do you have to pick a line right then pick this point up to this point okay and then do another line pick the center of this point all the way down and click okay so you have now separated this okay so we need a pie to represent these two pies okay we need a pie to replace these two pies so out of this just copy one of these pies and then try click so come all the way pick it and place it at the center so having placed that at the center you do the same thing to this other two provisions okay pick that and take it here place it right here over to this side okay make sure you place it at this center okay so this center pie now takes 
care of these other two pies successfully. So what you now have to do is to transfer the load of this pie, the load of this pie, onto this particular pie successfully. So the load of these two pie by the side have to be transferred to the center pie successfully to design that center pie. Okay, so that is what you are going to do. So how do you do that? You have to reference uh, the maximum axial load this pie is carrying the one this other pie is also carrying sum it together and then you use it to design this particular pie okay so it can be able to stand it the you know the required uh, uh extra load that is actually coming on these two pies successfully okay so i will tell you what the result will be actually okay but let's get back to pro structure so here in product structure, what you just need to do is you just have to place your cursor on this pie right there and then in the info box right there, you can now see the maximum axial load right there. This is 302 for this particular pie. So for this one, it is 313, uh, three, okay? So take note of that. Come over to this pile and check. This is 314 and this one is 303, okay? Check this one. This is uh, 315, uh, okay? And this one is 3. Four. So, if you sum this load and this other load, you see these two loads combined together is higher than these two loads combined together as well as this one. So, you are going to use this one for the rest of this uh, pile, okay, in these directions, okay. So, if you sum these two loads, this is about uh, 315 right there, and this is 3, uh, oh, what, 304. So, all together, you should be having uh, there are about 600 and something right there, okay, maybe 616 or 617 right there, 617 uh, kilonewton as the maximum load. So 617 kilonewton is what you are actually going to use, okay, to design to design uh, this single pie that you are having right there. So you now have to get rid of these ones, okay, in order for you not to breach that rule of the spacing of pie, get rid of this, right, do I? I'm only using this to demarcate the center point, get right of that line as well, and then the spire is going to be carrying a special load. Okay, the same load here is the same load that is to be applied here, and this, while this other one can carry their individual load. So, this single pile is carrying a load coming from two piles, okay, as well as this one and this one. So, in the presentations, you have to come over to the piles and make sure you label it differently so that you can be able to identify it during design successfully so we have to be designing this pile this one and this one using a load of 617 kilonewton successfully okay why these other ones we wouldn't know the load so we can take that right there in the product structure okay so you can navigate to product structure right there so if you click also on it in the info box, you can see this one is 207 okay so we are using it's almost times two okay times two of this load that the pile that we placed here we actually be carrying okay times two of this load okay so the more load the more reinforcement okay that will be generated in the pie cap successfully so this particular pie cap are going to be treated special in a special way okay this one here this module are going to be treated in a special way in terms of this in terms of design okay and even the constructions okay or, or successfully all right so this is how you actually edit a class pie cap with uh, pies successfully in autocad and pro structure okay so over here you can see a various uh, pie cap drawings right here okay so if you get protect company template you actually uh, get all of these drawings you can see various uh, uh, combined by cap right here, okay. The way I actually did it successfully, just as I've explained to you, okay, in this uh, video. Successfully, the same thing applied to all of these ones, okay, that I've done. You can see, all right. So, you can get this once you get protect complete template, okay. You can get this, and also, if you want to actually be independent in the design of pie foundations using product structure, I'll ask you to. Uh, check the link okay for a video all right in the description of this video okay that link you can be able to get the video that will teach you uh pie foundation design the product structure from the pie cap 
stage to uh, the pie itself, okay, referencing the geotechnical information of the construction site of a particular structure used in that video successfully. Okay, so I believe that you have learned one or two things in this video. Do not forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, stay safe, and God bless you. We we'll stop here for today, and then we we'll see you in the next three attentions. Thank you, and bye for now.